Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RTC TV Forum. My name is Dakota Hayden alongside with Brant Gerald, and we'll be your co-hosts as we go live here tonight at the Comet Crater for tonight's varsity football matchup between the Casting Comets and the West Central Trojans. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. Feeling pretty good. First live game for Caston here for the football season. It's exciting. I remember doing this last year, and we just had you know a few cameras set up and just a headset, and just hope for the best at that point. Yeah, it's growing a little bit. Oh, know, yeah. We've got a bigger setup, a little more interesting things going on here. Exciting, that's for sure. We got the cheerleaders and the band members out there about ready to introduce the Comets whenever the uh, timer on the scoreboard goes down a little bit more. About two, two and a half minutes here, two minutes, 40 seconds. I won't do a countdown, but <laughs> rough estimate here. Right. It's going to be a decent-sized crowd for, I believe, it's the first actual game of the season, starting off for the school season. Yeah, so who do we have uh, on the other team, I guess, for starters before casting comes out to the field? Who do we have on their team roster-wise? I don't know if they gave us the starters, though. We don't have the starters, okay. But we do have a list. Yeah, we do and, have two And games. we'll refer to that list, I suppose, <laughs> as the game Absolutely. Great, great. I'll try my best not to completely butcher these names, but, you know, whatever. Cheerleaders trying to call out the cast and players here with their, their chant of... Announcer announcing the refs. Showing some appreciation for their work here tonight. There's a lot of new things going on around here. We got the new scoreboard out there. Um, I do believe the cheerleaders are sporting a new attire. And as we will see here soon, the Comets are now sporting new helmets, I do believe. I think the jerseys are still the same, but the helmets are definitely new. Awesome. I'm we welcome the Comets into the crater <laughs> for the first time this season. I think on their home turf, yeah. They may have played one. I think so. That might that might be about right. <laughs> they had a scrimmage on Tri County, but I don't I don't remember if that was here or not. Both teams lining up for the, the flip of the coin here, as is tradition. Looks like the Castons are kicking off, I think was the gesture there. I don't know the official gestures, but it looked like with the, the kick, I would assume, yeah. <laughs> as he touched a Caston player. Let's see what they do with it here. Tony Slocum for the head coach for the Comets, and I Ooh, I'm going to be eating my words, and he's going to punch me about it later because I'm friends with his kid. <laughs> but I think it's his first time being head coach for the I want to say that's, the that's right because the they, they actually had um, an interested prospect at the couple months back that actually decided to go with Rochester yeah. for their football team. So yeah. I think Tony Slocum is is at least new to the head coach position here at Caston. But he's no stranger to helping out coaching the football program here. He was defensive coordinator, I think, last year. Sounds about right. As a casting grad last year. Well, you gotta, I'm you trying gotta have to a remember bit these things. <laughs> I've slept since then. I'd hope so. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> West Central's team lining up here to receive the kickoff. See what they can get moving here. We're ready to get the 2017 season kicked off. First kickoff of the season for the Comets. Yeah. 
Brady Hartman with a nice kick. Number 22 for West Central. That'll be Cameron Pratt taking the ball back, putting him down at around about the 27 yard line. Yep, 27 yard line. Couldn't quite pinpoint it there, but you got it, you got it. All right, and we're off. Trojan setting up. Nice little spin move there. Brought down about one yard gain, it looked like. Yeah, I'd say it's about a yard. Brandon Kinzer getting credit for the tackle, although there was a dog pile on, I think that was number 17 for the Trojans, Braden Kletz. Their quarterback. Trojans prepping up for the next offensive play. Do the thing and going for a pass. Pass is complete to number 30 for the Trojans being Logan Sharp. Logan Sharp is taken down about, about the 39 yard line. 39 yard line, yeah. That'll give the Trojans a first down. Trojans setting up, looking for another pass. The pass was tipped right into the arms of who caught that one. Was it number 22 for the uh, the Trojans, Cameron Pratt? Yeah, right off the hands there of number 14, Gavin Fletcher. Almost had it himself and then just kind of tipped it over to his teammates' hands there. Good, uh, good recovery. Yeah, whatever gets you the yards. Trojans gaining some good ground. Looking for another pass. Ooh, incomplete pass. Looking for number one, Col Colin Fritz. Couldn't quite make the connection there. He wasn't, I don't think he was quite set up to run forward yet. I think he was still trying to make his break to the, to the left. It was looking like it. Need to ramp up the defense a little bit to stop the Trojan push. So far, they're doing pretty good keeping the momentum flowing. A little pass backwards to number one, Colin Fritz, for a pretty substantial gain there. It looks like it's going to get him the first down. Absolutely. Chain gain moving. That'll do it. Forty-six yard line now on the other side. Mm. Good sack by number Glad that. seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. That'd be Seth Johnson for the Comets. Loss of two yards. Comets looking to get some momentum, swinging backwards. Maybe they can stop him here. See what happens. Trojans looking for a pass again. Incomplete pass. Looked like number 55, Bra uh, Brandon Kinzer, almost had a hand in there for an interception. Couldn't quite get his grasp on that one. Yeah, just over the head of pretty much everyone on that side of the field. I think he had about four people that jumped for it there. Yeah, just went right over each one of them. Third down for the Trojans.
Looks like they've got 12 yards to go now, too. Foul on the field. Illegal procedure by the Trojans. Uh, that's going to cost them. It's like another five yards there. Put it in almost 17 yards now on a third down. It's not looking too good for a third down here. Let's see if the Comets can take the opportunity and jump back here. Looking for a pass, Ooh. maybe. No one's open. He's going to go and run for it. He's got a lot of people to break through. Uh, he's he's got past yards. them all. I don't. He just got past the the first uh, chain there, so he's still got about nine yards to go before they make it to their first down on their fourth. That was nice yard oh, coverage him. by Braden Kletz. Good recovery of the play, though, by the Trojans. I think they were looking at a pretty substantial loss again and made a quick decision to run for it. Mm -hmm. That was really good recovery. Now with only, let's say, about six yards to go, make for a pass. Pass is complete to number 30. Comments were able to drag him down. Number 30 being Logan Sharp. Tate was able to bring him down. And just shy of a first down for the Trojans. So now Comets will take on the offensive here. About the 41 yard line. Oh, 40. Let's see what the Comets can get rolling for him here in the first quarter. Handoff, maybe. There's number 40, Casey Alt. Trying to get him to run it. Couldn't quite get him through the defense of the Trojans. But decent yard gainage, though. Decent yard gainage. About halfway there. Setting up. And for a handoff again to Casey. And they're able to get him through for the first down. First down, first down for the Comets. A nice push by Tate Cowell to lead uh, whoever the carrier was. What was his name? Uh, Casey Alt. Casey Alt, yeah. Really cleared the way for him there to give him a. No room nice to make pushed it through. All right, come first down. They're sitting nice and easy on the 45-yard line, heading down to Trojan territory. The handoff. Like about a yard or two gain there. Number 20, Brady Hartman. Comets huddling off to the side, probably thinking of a different strategy. Or throwing off the other team, either way. Whatever gets the job done. Hand off to number eight, Blake Albright. And he's able to get through. Nice yard gainage. Makes it first down for the Comets there. Right at the 31-yard line. Inching closer to the red zone here. 
Getting there ever so slowly. Well, that was pretty fast. That was a good jump. Yeah. It's a nice run by Blake Albright. A good cut to the sideline there. Comets looking for a pass. Tate trying to get over to Brady. Risky throw. He had two defenders. He had to throw right between there. I was a little worried that was going to turn into an interception. Yeah, it was real close. Second down at the 29 yard line. Looks like still about 10 yards to go. Hand off back to Blake Albright. Trying to push through the Trojan defense. Might have gained a yard or two there. Like he's brought down about the 32 yard line. Or 28, sorry. Numbers backwards here. <laughs> mine. That's all right. That's all right. Seven yards to go for a first down for the Comets. And for Brady Hartman with the carry on the ball there. Was able to get few yards. A few more yards going there. See what the comments got going for him here. About four more yards to go for a first down. See if they can get anything rolling there. Hand off. Number 40, Casey Alt to push through. I think he got it. I was worried for a second there. It looked like he stumbled before he even hit the mob of people. Yeah. He tripped up. First down for the Comets. Worked for him. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever gets the job done. Now the Trojans facing a little bit of difficulties on the defensive side here now. Comets keep rushing in like this, they might get a touchdown here. Really good drive for the Comets first possession of the season here. Mm -hmm. I agree. They started at the 40. The handoff. Ooh. So he hit a teammate there and just lost his footing and had to go down. Number 52 for the Trojans. It was that Michael Bathke was able to take down Blake Albright there at the uh, what is that 19 yard line? Yes, sir. Gain of a yard, a yards a yard. Hey, looking for a pass, launches it up. Oh, that was real close to an interception. I think Tate was intending for that ball to go to Casey, couldn't quite get it to him. That was real close. Yeah, on a second down, I'm not sure you want to necessarily try and force anything drastic like that that could cause you to lose possession. Yeah, I'm not so sure what they were thinking of doing, but if the pass would have been complete, I'm pretty sure he was in the end zone for it, so. Definitely was. All right, ball handed back off to Casey, trying to plow through the defenders. Looks like he stopped there by number 35, Dalton Sizemore.
think they got him planted on the 15 yard line. Five yards to go, fourth down for the Comets. It's a pretty crucial play with only 344 in the first quarter here. And now would be about the time I'd, I'd probably try and go for that really risky pass. Because if it makes it, it plays through. Unless we can, unless they can run it. They've had pretty successful runs. Let's say they'd probably try and run it. Going for a timeout. Timeout on the field called by the Comets. Comets called a timeout. We're going to go ahead and take a word from our sponsors here. We'll be back after this. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. And we're back. 325 left on the clock. Comets fourth down, five yards to go. Ball is sitting on the 15-yard line. Both teams still gathering up, planning the next strategy, waiting for the timeout buzzer to go off. Yeah, West Central definitely probably starting to think about what they're going to do with their possession as they look at either a touchdown from the Comets or a turnover here fairly close to their own infield. They got to get some kind of strategy going because they're going to have to push back the yardage definitely for sure. Fourth down for the Comets, five yards to go. Ball at the 15 yard line. Five more yards here for the Comets to get it over the first down. First and goal if they get there. And a handoff back to Blake Albright. And chase down. Trying to get there. Not going to make it. Brought down about the 19-yard line. It's going to bring it over to the West Central Trojans for a possession. They're going to have some yardage to cover here. Seventy-nine yards, if I'm correct here, my, if my if my numbers are right. I think, I think <laughs> you're about right. Doing the math. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just counting now. Round up to 80, you know, okay, yeah. 100. Yeah, I think that's about right. <laughs> it's either 79 or 81, either way. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> My mind's elsewhere. A handoff by the Trojans to number number one. That would be Colin Fritz. <laughs> Brought down, uh, I'd say. Right at the 29-yard line there. 24 yard line. Yes, 24. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to have to study some numbers. <laughs> That's all right. Once I start going to college, I'll get on those math courses and we'll be all ready and set. A central handoff again to number th 35, I do believe that is. That is Dalton Sizemore. Tied up there by number 55, Braden Kinzer. And it looked like number 40, Casey Ault. Mm -hmm. Third down for the Trojans. About like three yards to go. Another handoff by West Central to get the yards. 
think he's still just a bit short there for the first down. One more yard to go for the Trojans. I think it might have been a bit off there, but I think it was number 34, Ethan White, on the carry for the Trojans. He was stopped by Chris Smith, number 86 for the Comets. There on the 28-yard uh, line. I'll let you do the counting. All right. <laughs> Trying to push. Looks like they've got it right on it, too. That'll do it. Move the chains. Number 69, Peyton Hendrick, was able to put a stop to their little push there. About a minute left in the first quarter. Quite a few yards to go here for the Trojans if they're going to make a touchdown before the first is over. And for a handoff to their number one, Colin Fritz. Good tackle by Brady Hartman. Bringing him down at the 34-yard line. Clock's ticking. About eight yards to go for the Trojans. About 20 seconds left after the snap. This is going to have to be the play. Brady Hartman taking him down again. Number 17 on the Trojans with the possession, Braden Kletz. Like he might have been looking to go a pass, but seemed like he was going to go ahead and run it. And that's the end of the first quarter. We're going to take another word from our sponsors, and we'll be back with the second quarter of football tonight right. with the casting comments versus the West Central Trojans. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. We're starting up the second quarter here. All right. Comets and West Central both tied at zero on the scoreboard. See if either teams can get anything moving here in the second quarter before halftime. Ball stays with West Central, but changes sides of the field. Teams lined up. Trojans ready for the offensive play. Ooh. Oh, looks like a bit of a quarterback drops right the ball on his way back. Number 17, Braden Kletz. Not able to hold on to it as he tries to go back. It looked like he was going to hand it off. I think either there was a miscommunication with the handoff there, or he just ended up maybe shoulder tackling one of his own guys and just lost control of it. It's going to lose him about a yard or two. Trojans are punting the ball back to the Comets. A nice Almost a block. He may have got a little bit on it. Trojans going to surround it at about the 31 yard line. Nice punt by the Trojans. All 
All right. Let's see if the Comets can get anything going offensively here. Maybe one of these teams will score a touchdown before halftime. So far, it's just been going back and forth. We've been getting close, but not close enough into the end zone. Caston so far doing a better job at pushing the ball down the field than West Central, but we're talking about two possessions here for West Central, right, so I don't know how right. much you can judge. It'll be a handoff to number 20, Brady no. Hartman. Nice. Nice game. It's going to get him the first down. And sitting at about the 43-yard line. 42-yard line corrected by the announcer. Yeah, I think his knee went down about 42. He stretched for the – I think he crawled a little bit <laughs> there trying to trick him. A nice run by Brady Hartman. Comets sitting on the 42-yard line. Another handoff. Another push by Brady there. Still gaining yards. Gain of about five. Three shy, I think, of the first down here. Three or four, I think. Sitting on the 48-yard line. See if the Comets can finish the push and get in for that first down. And keep her going across the field. I was looking for a handoff to Casey Alt. And the push through, he gets put down at, I'd say, the 49-yard line. I don't think he quite made it to the 50. No. Yeah, they're marking him at the 49. Gain of about a yard. Third down for the Comets. Comets third down on the 49. Two to go for the first down. <laughs> See if they got one last good run in them for the first down or if they're going to try pass maybe or see what they do. Handing the ball off to Casey Alt, trying to push through. They get the yards. Brought down about the 53-yard line there. Enough for the first down. First down! Yep, made it over for the first down for the Comets. Brings them into Trojan territory. See if they can keep the push going. Both teams lining up. Hand off to Brady Hartman. He's able to push through. Put him down at about the 41-yard line. Trojan defense got to step it up a little bit. Brady was able to go right through the middle of them. Looking like the Comets are trying to do. Hand off to Hartman to get him through. Gets it down to the first, the first down. down. Comets are really pushing this ball forward. They're slowly but surely making their way there. It's just a matter of time, I think, before they finally catch their break. And I would think it's looking good for that, but. So far, they get they get close, but then it turns over. But it's only been, what, first quarter, only so many possessions. 
So we'll see if they got enough in them to bring it all the way to the end zone and score a touchdown. Foul on the field. It's like a false start here. A legal procedure by the Comets. It's going to cost them five yards. That's not good. Still first down. Comets now five yards further from getting to the end zone and see if they can recover those yards and more. With the first down here. The handoff to Casey Alt. Trying to put him through. Small gain. About three yards. Comets second down. Ball's resting around the 38 yard line. 11 more yards to go. Six minutes, six minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock for halftime. Another handoff to Brady. Mm -hmm. He's down about the 35 yard line. Small gain. I think they're just now even to where they started before the foul. It's like about a 10 yard gain here before they can move the chains with two more possessions left. Let's see if they can get a good run in here. Or maybe pull a pass out of their sleeve or something. I think a pass may surprise them. Yeah, it's, uh, they, it's they've, they've been doing a lot of running. It's been working for them. Brady Hartman's definitely doing a good job of pushing it forward along with Casey Alt. We're going to hand off to Blake Albright. He's got some room. He's able to get the yards. Oh, he lost it. it looks the Trojan's going to recover it. Nice recovery of the fumble by the Trojans. Yeah, it looked like Blake Albright just got spun up a little too much and Lost control of the ball. Trojans able to jump on it. Gavin Fletcher, number 14 for the Trojans, was the one to recover that fumble. Going to give the Trojans the ball at the 31-yard line. Trojans with a handoff, the number one Colin Fritz with a good gain. Puts him about the 43 yard line there. 42 yard line. Should be first down for the Trojans. Like Kasson wasn't able to quite get him down in time to stop him from making a large gain there. Casting with a timeout, we're going to take another word from our sponsors. You're watching RTC TV4. We'll be back after this. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. 
And we're back here after a quick timeout by Kasten. Trojans with the ball at the 42 yard line with five minutes left on the clock in the half. The team's taking their places on the field. Handoff by the Trojans. He's got some room. Number 17, Braden Kletz. Brought down by number eight, Blake, Blake Albright by Kasten. Trojans making some decent yard gainage each one of these possessions. See if they can keep things flowing here. About six yards to go, sitting on the 48. Trojans look for a pass, gets it to number 14, Gavin Fletcher. Brought down by number 40, Casey Alt, at about the 53 yard line. Trojans Move in the chains. Territory. Trojans trying to pick up the pace here. And off to number 35 for the Trojans, Dalton Seesmore. Right down by got Dalton. caught up by Blake Albright. Taking him down at around the 44 yard line. Hand off. Number 35 for the Trojans. Dalton Seesmore again. Good grab by Casey Alt. And Kasten's quick to respond. Keeping the game to a minimum. Third down for the Trojans. Ball sitting at about the 43 yard line in Comet territory. Seventeen, he's looking for a pass maybe. Gets it over. Incomplete pass, almost intercepted by Blake Albright. I think he was aiming at Gavin Fletcher there. Couldn't quite get it. Cameron Pratt almost able to recover it. Still no luck. Fourth down now for the Trojans. Fourth and what I think is seven. Seven or six yards to go. I think they're going to go for it. Probably the wise choice considering the half is only three minutes away. See if the Comets defense can hold out for one more possession. Quick timeout here by West Central. We're gonna take another quick break. We'll be back right after this. Every touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master Instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. back after a timeout by West Central. Trying to figure out what they're gonna do here on a fourth down with what I think is eight yards to, or no, six yards to go. And three minutes on the clock in the first half. See if the Trojans can get through, get a first down. Maybe even if they're lucky enough, touchdown before the half. 
17. They're going for a big play. Looking for a pass. Throws it up. Not able to get it. He was trying to get to 35 Dalton Sizemore. Couldn't quite get it to him. That's going to give Caston the ball at the 43-yard line. 40, yeah, 43. The announcer here confused me. <laughs> for the for the one time, I think I was right. All the other times, I'm listening to him to correct myself. <laughs> Catherine has three minutes about to try and make a play. See what they can get going before the end of the first half. And off to number eight, Blake Albright. Trying to get some coverage there. Like number 78 for Trojans, Andrew Caston was able to bring him down there. Now sitting on the 44 yard line. About a one yard gain on the play. Second down for the Comets. Kasten's going to have to start speeding up their, their plays here. It's only about two minutes left in the first half. Hand off to Casey Olt. Trying to break it through the defense. Not able to do it. Bring him back. Gain of about one yard. Two yards. Got another timeout here by Kasten. No, by West Central. Surprising. All right, we're going to take another quick word from our sponsors. We'll be back right after this. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdsrochester.com. And we're back. Kasten with the possession. Third down. About eight yards to go here. About two minutes on the clock for the remainder of the first half. Really going to be looking for some big plays here to try and move the ball down the field as quick as possible. Once that clock starts rolling, it's going to fly. Well, it's looking, handoff to number 20, Brady. Not able to gain anything. He's wrapped up. Put him right back Gain of about a one, one yard. A one yard. That's correct, grammar. <laughs> Fourth down, putting them in a pretty tight position. Another timeout by West Central. We're going to go ahead and take another quick break here, and we'll be back. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? 
What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. And we're back after a quick timeout. Kasten looks like they're going to punt it. A minute and 44 left. Number 55. Brandon Ooh, he's not able to catch it. Caught by Kasten. That'll get him the first that, down. That'll put him about the 49-yard line. Well, the 30-yard line. Uh -huh. I'm still trying to figure this out. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was play. a wow. Was not expecting that. A good hit by Kasten to just throw off West Central. All right. A minute and 30 left. First down. Let's see if the Comets can keep the push going. We might see a touchdown here before the first half's done. Tate looking for a pass, maybe. Couldn't get it. Throws the ball down. So it's going to be an incomplete pass. Looks like there's a flag on the field. Grounding call on the Comets. They're going to lose 10 yards. Or is it 15? Looks more like 15. Really putting them in a rough place after such a good play. And yeah, they got them put back to just about where they were before they. Well, no, they were a bit further back when they punted the ball off, but man, that's going to hurt. Still a really good play on that punt. I'm still a little shocked yeah, by that one. I mean, it, it, even though they got a 15-yard penalty here, obviously it still keeps the ball out of West Central's possession for what could be the remainder of the half. Absolutely. It's unexpected. A and double handoff here to Blake Albright. He's oh, looks like he lost it, but he was down. Right down hard on the 47-yard line. And the clock's going to keep on running. Just hit the minute mark. I think Kasten's just going to make sure that West Central doesn't get possession again before the end of the half. That'd be the right idea. Gonna run one more play. I always like to see Hail Marys, but I think that's because I don't know enough about football. I just get excited <laughs> when I see four people running down the field <laughs> looking for a pass. Thomas Sutton. Nice pass to Casey Alt. He's going to oh, get taken down. Trojans are on top of him now. And I think that's going to be the first half. Clock is running down from the 15 seconds here. It's like both teams just going to go ahead and walk on back to their sidelines. And that'll do it for us for the first half. Casting Comets. Here with their first game against the West Central Trojans. Zero to zero in the first half, but a good push by the Comets, making some long drives and holding off West Central. We're gonna go ahead and play some more words from our sponsors and we'll be back after this. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. 
online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century, online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, and we're back with about four minutes and 40 seconds left in the halftime break. I got a little bit of some stats here so far going into the first half of the game. <clears throat> for complete game stats for Caston, we they have made eight first downs while West Central only has seven. When it comes to rushes and yards, Caston had 24 rushes with 88 yards gained from them. West Central had 15 and 50. So averaging out, Caston has about 3.7 yards per rush and West Central has 3.3. .3. Which goes to, I mean, pretty much what we saw. We saw Caston making definitely some larger gains when they did have possession of the football. West Central just, I think, gaining possession in a little better positions on the field. But Caston definitely pushing the ball farther down the field. Right, absolutely. However, West Central does, when passes, West Central has made eight pass attempts and has completed four of them, while his Caston's only made three attempts and hasn't got any of them down so far. Yeah, definitely a running game for Caston so far. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you've seen a lot of plays from Brady Hartman and is it Casey Alt. Casey Alt and a few from Blake Albright. Yeah, yep. definitely a running game for them. And for uh, passing yards, since West Central has only had, you know, the most complete passes, they've had about 25 passing yards and a 3.1 passing yard average for that. Uh, total plays for the teams. Caston has made 27 total plays and has gotten 69 yards out of them. Uh, West Central has 23 and 75 in that regards. Okay, so West Central making maybe some larger plays. I think there's probably a few in there where West Central made some pretty good gains, probably putting that average up a little bit higher than Caston's. Yeah, the average yards per play for that, Caston 2.6, West Central 3.3. And in, in regards to turnovers, Caston has had one turnover, while West Central has had zero so far going into the game. So I guess, you know, I'm not a football professional, so you look at that punt that happened pretty close there to halftime. Um, I, I suppose maybe that's not technically a turnover because they didn't technically have possession of the ball. I right. mean, they did. They touched it, but I guess they didn't since they weren't in possession of the ball fully. Right. And it wouldn't be a turnover. Absolutely. Interesting. Learning. Learning every day. Absolutely. And third down conversions for Caston, one out of six, and West Central, two out of six. Okay, so West Central working a little better under pressure. but um, For fourth down conversions, Caston's had two for two, and West Central, one for three. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no sacks have been made by either teams for any loss of yards there. For player stats, real quick, ahead about two minutes left in the halftime break. Uh, for Caston's quarterback, Tate Cowell, he has made three attempts at passing and has gotten zero of them for a loss of 19 yards in that regard. So he's in the negative numbers for passing here. On number 17, if I am right, that is Braden Kletz for West Central has gotten four out of his eight passing attempts for a gainage of 25 yards in that regard. Yeah, West Central definitely working more towards those passing plays, I think. Caston's, I think, staying a little more with what they're comfortable with at this point. I mean, if what I know is correct, they kind of had a, a late start to their, their coaching staff change there, so they might want to stay a little more conservative with their plays and right. keep it tight. and Stick to what's familiar, yeah. try out newer stuff later on. But for rushing in regards, Caston's Brady Hartman, number 20, has had eight rushes for a total gain of 37 yards. Number 40, Casey Alt, has had nine rushes with a total gain of 35 yards. And then we have number eight, Blake Albright, with seven rushes for a gain of 16 yards. Yeah, which those so, are the three that we definitely right. saw really making the pushes. They definitely got the rushing gain down for Caston. West Central's number one, Colin Fritz, made four rushes for 28 yards. Their number 17, Braden Kletz, seven for 14. Their number five, Dalton Seasmore, three for six and 34 Ethan White, one for two. So yeah, definitely the Comets got it down when it comes to rushing here. Looks like we're about to start the f second half here. Caston doing some jumping jacks to 
I guess get into shape and get, get hyped a little bit. I think they're, I think they're looking pretty good. You know, I, I graduated from casting, and I can say, you know, what I'm used to, and I think this is a pretty. Looks like it could be a very good year for casting football. I'm thinking so. Last year was a bit shaky, a bit rough, but seeing them this year for the first game, I think, I think we're off to a good start. Absolutely. And I'm definitely digging the new blue helmets compared to the old white ones. That yeah, you know, I actually came here about a month ago, I think, for my first entrance onto the field in years after college. I didn't come back. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, you know, the, the shock of the new scoreboard and things like that, It's you're seeing Caston just school-wise just upgrade lots of things and really looking good. You know, I'm... For a small school, I, I, you wouldn't expect so many changes and, you no. know, really some good upkeep all around. You know, they have a nice black fence around the yeah. perimeter. Whether that, that's a good thing or not, well, I don't know. You know, keep the kids in. <laughs> yeah, right, keep them trapped in. They can't escape too early. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're looking at some, some nice upgrades to the the football team here. And you said something about the cheerleaders look like they have new uniforms. So mm -hmm. some good good all-around things going for Casson. Players taking the field. I do believe it'll be Kasten receiving the ball this yep. time. They're set up to receive a punt, so or not punt, my bad, kickoff. Kickoff, yes. <laughs> Whew, it's been a day. It's the heat. <laughs> it's pretty cool outside, you can't blame that. Yeah, man. <laughs> there goes my handicap, oh well. <clears throat> Looks like we got number 70, small numbers, poor eyesight. Number 78 for the Trojans, Andrew Kasten, lining up to take the kickoff here for the Trojans. Send it off to the Comets. Ready for the kickoff. Comments standing by, idly waiting. <coughs> Launch the pigskin up in the air. Who said you'd never seen pigs fly? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on the officials here. It looks like we got about 30 seconds on the clock. I say we just call it good and let's go. But yeah. <laughs> there's, there's rules, I suppose, and games and stuff. Yeah. Got to keep things in line, I guess. Oh, well, about 15 seconds. I'm not that impatient. I can be. Casting cheerleaders getting a little hyped as we break into the second half here. Starting a slow clap. The sound of the UFO landing and off we go. Whistle blown. Sending for the kickoff. Fired away. Right into the arms. Number 40, Casey Alt. Doesn't look like he could get any ground on that one. Yeah. Little little slip in his hands, I think. He thought he had it, and I think it just turned on him while he had it in his hand, and it just caught him off guard. A little bit of a fumble, but uh, puts him at about the 23-yard line. Got some ground to cover, but they're pretty good at that. Pretty good at From what we've seen, I think, I think they'll be able to at least make it to the other side. I would think. I would think. We'll see what they got up their sleeve here for the second half. Be a handoff. It's like minimal minimal gainage here. I think they were trying to push. Oh, who are they trying to push through? Was the number? Is it Brady again? Oh, yeah. I wasn't quite sure. So they can just push Brady through. The Trojan defense, they can 
expect a large yard gain that's happened in the past, but I think the Trojans are also aware of that and also tightening up the defense a bit. Yeah, I'm sure they had a and off to Casey. Yeah, I'm sure they, that was part of their little meeting at halftime. It was like, okay, we've got these two guys that are definitely touching the football more than anybody else. So right. they're going to have their eyes on them for sure. Comments third down, about three yards to go here. Caston may have to make some adjustments on how they're playing just to kind of get around that prediction. See if they decide to mix things up here a bit. They definitely throw them off. I say Hail Mary every time. Hail Mary you know, every I, time. I just love just the big play. <laughs> <laughs> just launch it in the air and hope for the best. Yeah, I'd be a terrible football coach. <laughs> Small gainage here. It's about two yards. So it's going to be first down. Just made it for a first down. There they go, proving us right about how good they are at just Pushing Making those small pushes to, to move the chains and make their way down the field. Let's see, they keep it up. Comet's setting up. First down, they got 10 more yards once again. Handing it back off to Blake Albright. He's making a run, gaining some nice yards. Gain of about three. Solid three yard gain, seven yards to go now. I think Kasten's just hitting a really good average all around to their gains you know you'll see small ones but they just add up to first downs right. every time right it's the best way to do it to do it not do it but to do it <laughs> you didn't do your vocal warm-ups i didn't do my vocal i ask everybody to do their vocal warm-ups and it never happens <laughs> i'll pay the price for it here looking casey casey alt cutting he's out got to the, the sideline he's gonna get a good gain there that's a first down falling down about the 52 yard line Breaking into West Central territory. Nice. It's a nice big run and play. That'll up his stats for rushing for sure. Yeah, we got the fancy iPad with the stats. Yeah, okay. so I think I think we get excited now for the stats. Yeah, like, cool. Oh yeah. Him and Brady were about neck and neck when it came to rushing yards. So maybe they got an inside bet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be funny. Do post game interview. You know. <laughs> post game. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's see who won. Oh. Number seven, Tate. I believe that's the quarterback. Yeah. With the keep. No gain. Looked like he might have gained something, but I think I just got excited by the, the running in general. <laughs> <laughs> Number 34, Ethan White was on the stop there. Put down Tate. Keeping it still at 10 yards to go on the second down. Eight minutes left here. Comet's got to be looking for some more gain here. It'll be a handoff to Brady. Looked like there was a, he was a little bit late getting the handoff, which I think gave West Central time to prepare for it. It looked like a... Stayed in the hand of the quarterback just a little too long there. Yeah. Well, third down. Andrew, third down and 10. 78 for West Central. Andrew Caston had that stop on the last play. Andrew Caston? Andrew Caston, yes. Is he like a spy or? No, I don't know. Okay. It's Caston with a K instead oh, okay. of C. So. Well, that's, that doesn't throw me off. <laughs> 
I'd read right through that. <laughs> And a handoff nice to toss back to Casey Alt. Not going to be enough for a first down. Going to put him fourth, and I would say about six, six or seven. Yeah, I'd say about two. It's seven. We can look at the scoreboard. We don't do all the work. <laughs> There's other people doing that work. True. <laughs> Kasten's going to go ahead and go for it. I think. Might as well. I think they've still got some momentum. Huh? Maybe oh, they're lining up for a punt. They've got some guy. Well, if they make a punt play like they did last time, shouldn't have to worry about it. Right. But I think that might I don't. Put might put them in the red zone. Yeah. Yep. I don't think they meant for it to happen, though. Nice punt by Brandon Kinzer. Oh, he, he lost it. Fumbled it. Recovered by West Central, but still, man, he's got to be getting shaky at this point. That was That's twice in a row now, taking those punts and just dropping it. Yeah. There was no contact, I think, when he dropped that one. Oh, he had it, and then he just let go of it. He's scared. That he's, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's a comet. Right. You know, we're both comet graduates, so I mean, we're going to well. maybe talk a little bit of smack. <laughs> but. Slight favoritism, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Trojans now got some ground to cover. At least they're able to recover that little fumble, though. Handoff to their number, Ooh. Their number one for him, Colin Fritz. Smack dab in the middle between Brandon Kinzer. I don't know who the other one. I want to say Hunter Shane Lob, but not positive on that. Yeah, all I saw was Kinzer on that takedown, so there was another guy. Didn't yeah, he got sandwiched. Him. That's an effective way to stop a guy. A central. The snap just a little bit above the quarterback's head. Looks like he dropped it. Yeah, fumble. Oh, West Central. No, Kasten. Who's got it? I don't know. That was dropped even after it was picked back up. There was two fumbles there. I think West Central is going to keep it. But that still puts, wow, that puts them almost 20 yards now to gain on a, wow. I think, third down. Kinzer was on that one for the sack. Well, they're on the four-yard line. 25 yards, third and 25. Wow. Putting them really close to their end zone, too. Casting the defense, definitely looking really good in this game. Definitely making it difficult for the Trojans to push back offensively. Looking to run it. Looks like minimum gain there. Maybe good. two yards. Not going to be enough. We're going to look at West Central to punt it here. He's going to need a leg to put any kind of buffer between work. Yeah. We'll put him in a comfort zone, I think. Better Four be. minutes left. Better get some yardage on this punt or else it's going to be real difficult. Casey Alt looking at the return. The Punt's a, high. It's short but high. Going to be surrounded at about the 30-yard line. No, looks like it rolled a little bit. 34. Still a really good position. It's a really good spot for the Comets here in the third quarter. 34. I mean, if they if they make territory. if they make their average gain on possession, I think that puts them very close to the end zone. You know, you look at them making about 40 yards. Most of the time, I'd Most, say roughly. I'm not. Yeah. I don't have the stats. Right. I don't have them in front of me. Visually, right I now, say about 40 yards. Yeah, <laughs> a, sl a slight estimate. Well, let's see if the Comets can keep the momentum flowing. Might be looking for a touchdown here, third quarter. And Tate looking for a pass. He's no, going to keep gonna it. Keep it. He's going to run, run to the sideline. Nice I think he's going to go down at about the 
27 yard line. 28. It's 28. 28 yard line. I'm argue with down. the announcer again, this time. Mr. Don King over there. <laughs> Well. It's a nice run by Tate. Get those yards. Second down, four yards to go. Three or four yards to not four yards to go. That was right. Handoff to Looks like Casey Alt. Try and sneak in those yards. No, it was twenty. It was Brady. Oh. It's a zero. I just yeah, assume 40. Yeah. Tyler Stevens for West Central on the stop there, number 53. Going to land Kasson at the 25-yard line. Looks like a gain of third and one here. Not a gain of third and one, but third and one. Let's see if Comets can make that little push, get for the first down, and etch ever so closely to the end zone. A handoff to number He's 40, got some Casey. Gap. Looks like he made it. He got the first That's down. That's going to be a first down. First down. Going to put Kasten at the 20 yard line. We're seeing that average. Yeah, you know, we're, we're playing through. See if they can keep it moving. Get it in the end zone. Get the first score of the night. Casting def definitely with the momentum here in the second half. Looks like they're approaching the sideline as the clock keeps ticking. Not an official timeout. I think they're waiting for the two minutes here. No? Casting going to go ahead and call a timeout. We're going to take a quick word. Every touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. And we're back after a quick timeout from Kasten as they prepare to make their final trudge here, trying to get a touchdown, sitting at the 20-yard line on a first down. About two minutes and 17 seconds left to go here in the third. See if Comets can keep the momentum flowing, get that touchdown and put them in the lead. Six to zip, potentially. Hopefully seven. Hopefully seven if they can make the, yeah, yeah. the extra point. But it's at least a guaranteed six if they get in the end zone. We'll find out. <laughs> Kasten may be trying to change up a little bit here. It looks like they're doing a lot of regrouping. Um, might be trying to change away from just the, the strict Brady Hartman Casey Alt running plays here and work their way with some distance. Try to change things up. Anything to throw off West Central. And it looks like we're setting up for a running play. Hand it off to Casey. Ooh, he found a gap. He's got it. He's, He's going. going into the end zone. That's touchdown for the first Comets. First touchdown of the game. 
with a 20-yard run by Casey Alt. Nice. With the first touchdown of the game. That is wonderful. See, we knew it. Yeah, we knew they were going to get happen. there. We didn't even have to. We were kidding, <laughs> kidding ourselves, saying no. Casey Alt was riding completely on the tail of uh, number 72, Dylan Tabler. That was definitely worth uh, definitely worth the, the time they took to set it up. Oh, yeah. I was like, man, they're really stalling. And, I mean, if it gets you the touchdown, spend the extra two minutes. Yeah. You get it all prepped up and set up and execute and score the points. Brady Hartman, that's interesting. For the extra point. Yeah, being a runner, I was like, I guess I don't watch football enough or don't see it often. See what he got. Uh, Looks like it's good. Nope, no good. No good. No good. Hard to tell. Angle. Yeah, hard to tell up here in the press box, but refs call it no good. That's a solid so six. So you're, you're, you're apparently the crystal ball to be able to call it like that. Maybe. maybe. You said six points. Either you jinxed us or you predicted it. I don't know. It tends to happen. <laughs> I got yelled at a lot last year for jinxing games, so I stopped okay. talking. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not conducive to the job at this point. Right. We're going to need you to talk. <laughs> maybe just fluff up casting a little bit. All right, all right. <laughs> They're going to go for the 100-yard return or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kasson getting set up for the kickoff. After the first touchdown of the game with a 20-yard run from Casey Holt. It's a nice play by the Comets. West Central now definitely have so, to figure something out here. I'm wondering if this wins him the bet that we predict Brady Hartman and him have. Oh, for rushing yards? Yeah, you know, you, you got to wonder. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll see something crazy from Brady here too. I don't know. He may be a little angry. He's like, okay, I gotta catch up. Now. And that's, that's why 20 he, yards that's why he missed the game. extra point kick. Yeah, yeah. Cause he, he's thinking, man, Casey's got like another 20 yards on me now. <laughs> his his head wasn't in it. Right, right. Crap, missed the extra point. All right. <laughs> so well, let's see if he Brady gets, Hartman gonna kick it off here for him. See if he gets any redemption here for the kickoff. Maybe he'll kick a field goal. <laughs> I don't think it counts, but. No, I wouldn't count, but that'd be ridiculous. Took a little high and short here. Going to hit about the 30-yard line. Just out of bounds at about the 35. 82 37. for Central. Brett Cesor. Forgive me if I mispronounced that. But he definitely had the run in him if he didn't take it out of bounds. Well, he would have got stopped probably, but it looked like he had a decent gap. He didn't run himself out of bounds. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. Trojans at the 37-yard line. Looking to make some comeback here. And Kasson only with six points, but I have to say they're definitely doing a lot more yard gains, I feel. Looking for a pass. Oh, an interception. interception by Brady Hartman. He's going for it. He's got all the space. <laughs> Going to bring him down at about the 19, and it looks like there's a call on it too. An injury on what I think is number 18 from West Central. It can't be 18 because there is no 18, but there's an 8 in that number. He's on the ground. I can't tell who it is. But we go back to that bet. Brady Hartman yeah. just <laughs> redeemed himself a little bit. Caught an interception and oh wow, he had all the all the room in the world. He's just barely brought down there by. I think this puts him in the lead. It might. I think it does. <laughs> I'm thinking that might be. You said you thought it was number 18. That might be number 17 down over there. That might be uh. Braden Kletz. Braden Kletz down over the there. Quarterback. That would be unfortunate. Yeah, injury flags on the field, so definitely something ain't looking too right here. It looked like there was some holding. The officials are still keeping the ball down there, so I would assume it's on something on West Central. Well, we were both wrong on the accounts of who that was on number, but it was a seven something. Wasn't Walking off the field. Looks like he'll be all right. That's good. As long as he's able to walk out, it's all good. It's all good. 
Looks like it was against the Trojans. <laughs> that's that's kinda, not going to help him here. Man, that's going to put Cashin at the nine-yard line with first down. First and goal here. The Comet's got all the room here in the world to try and make that second touchdown and put him even further in the lead. Coach is keeping the players in a nice huddle. It worked last time. We'll see what they got up their sleeve this time. I think this is where you'll see another pass play because they tried that last time and I think ended up, you know, handing it off or something like that right. to get it actually in there. But they definitely tried a pass. Looks like they're lining up for another run. Let's see what they got. Looks like a false start. Yeah, delay, delay of game against the Comets. Well, shows how much I know about football. <laughs> there goes their advantage that they did have. Now going to a disadvantage, one in 14. Up for a first down, starting at 14 yards. If they can get a good run or maybe a good pass in, should be all good. Well, Casey does have some ground to make. Right. Up, so, you know, maybe this is his play. Maybe, maybe. Or Brady's going to run off with it. You know, he's <laughs> he's on fire from that interception. He's going to take one. He's going to run it right into the end zone. Here we go. Oh, looking it's a pass. for a pass from Tate. He's looking. No one open. Oh, nope, 35. He's going to pick it up barely off the ground. 35, that's Colton Walker, I think. That's going to put him second and I would say six. Second and six here. Well, second down, six yards to go. Yeah. Pass was close. Was barely complete, but it'll work. Almost had a it. A lot the of patience there from Kasson's quarterback. Tate. Tate to uh, just wait for an opening. He didn't have anything for a long while there. I thought he was going to have to run it out yeah, of bounds or something, but he, he found an opening. It looked to be. They're going to push it in. Not going to be there. Looks like the official is going to call it just short, about the six-inch six six inch line. line. I didn't know they had that line, I but okay. Or goal got at this point. Less than a minute here. This is the, going to be probably the last play, and they're going to have to make it quick. Third down, one yard to go. Practically goal, six inches. Casting going to have to get that line. They have. 10 seconds left on the play clock. They're going to try and push it through. They handed Looks it off. like they got it. Yep, they got it. Brady, Brady, Brady Hartman, Hartman with the touchdown. He had to get one in there. Casting 12 to 0 right now as they go for the extra point. Nice play by Casting. Nice. Definitely showing up this third quarter. Setting up for the extra point. Let's see if Brady can get any redemption this time around. He's a bit off the first attempt. Let's see what he's got for the second one. Well, looks like we got a flag on the play. It's against the Comets. Illegal procedure. Push him back five yards. Oh, man. I think there's just a little bit of confusion. You know, it is the first game of the season. Right. You're going to have a little bit going on here. But still looking really good. Bit of a further uh, attempt for the extra point here for Brady. Let's see if he can still make it anyway. A little bit of high snap. It's going to go. Uh. Looks like it's good. It's it good. is. 13 to 0 with the Comets in the lead with 27 seconds left in the third quarter. That's a solid lead. I'd say they got it. Not to jinx it, but I say they got a pretty good sitting right here heading into the fourth. Let's see. We got about 27 seconds on the clock, less than 30. Comets kind of gathering up there. Preparing for the last play. Or 
the kickoff to give it back to the Trojans for the last possession of this quarter. Trojans now got to get some ground going here. They are down 13 points now. That's quite a bit of ground to make up, but I wouldn't count them out just yet. Got a quick update here as we do cover Tippy Valley High School as well. Tippy Valley is at 13 against Bremen with 14, putting them down one point at the half. I believe this is Tippy Valley's first game of the season as well as we covered a scrimmage, I think, last week against Warsaw, so. Interesting. Brady setting up for the kickoff, giving it back over to the Trojans. The Trojans will have basically one, one possession, I hear, I think, here to do anything with it. Whistle blown, ready to go. It's up. A nice kick by Brady. Right into the arms of 22, Cameron Pratt. Looks like he's going to be brought down at about the 30-yard line. Not giving them a very good position to do anything with with 22 seconds left. No. This is where you see the Hail Marys. Right, the, just the absolute just whatever at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm optimistic. <laughs> Had number 86, Chris Smith, on the stop there. Looks like they're going to mark him actually at the 31. Give him an extra one there. They got 22 and a half seconds. Let's see what they can do with it. Trojans handing it off. Looks like they're going to be stopped. Right at about the 40, or no, 38 yard line. Three yards left for the first down. And this is gonna be the end of the quarter. I guess I forget that they don't change possession between quarters except for the half. So. Right, right. All right, so that's the end. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick break and take a word from our sponsors. We'll be back right after this. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. We're back here for the fourth quarter. Trojans. For a bit of a handoff to number 35, and he still needs to be brought down. I think he just made it through the first first down. Number 35 being Dalton Seesmoor. Tate was barely able to bring him down, but he still made enough yards to get it for the first down. See if the Trojans can get any momentum swinging back for him in the final quarter of the game. And they're looking for a handoff. They got it to number 34, Ethan White. Couldn't quite get it going anywhere, though. Brady was on the stop and pushed him back a yard or two. 
Maybe. It looked like he might have got pushed back at least a yard. Scoreboard corrects me. Yes, they did. Toss back to the quarterback as he looks for a pass. He's going to go just over the head there of number 30, Logan Sharp, for incomplete pass. Sitting at third and 11. Trojan's got a decent amount of yardage to make up here for the first down. 11 yards. Let's see if they can get anything moving here. Thomas defense definitely working their magic here. Look for a pass. Over to 80. Pass is complete. Ooh, almost hit hard enough to knock it out. Couldn't quite Couldn't get bring him down. down. It's a 43 yard line. Number 80 for West Central, Alfred Daniel. Brought down by Brady. I think it was Colton Welker, number 35, that tried to bring him down earlier but couldn't quite get him down, and Brady had to finish him off. West Central just looking to get something going here, feeling the pressure. A handoff. handoff to number 34, Ethan White. Couldn't quite get anywhere. Might have got a yard. Looks like he's a little bit hurt getting up there. Ethan White hurt on the play as the coaches check him out to see what's going on. The way it looked like he went down, he might have got a cramp or something. Brian Gaston a little bit of time to adjust to the fast pace that West Central is trying to put on him, I think. Throwing him off just a little bit. Oh yeah, the fish out there, trainer, looking like to, must have done something to his right leg. Casey Alt was on the, uh, a tackle there to bring him down. Well, not a tackle, but he brought him down. I'd like to thank our camera guy, Calvin Sager, up there, getting us the shot. Sitting in the crow's nest, really. You know, I don't. I went up there to help him set up, and it's like it's a little bit of a scary. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights, so you know, you get up there, and you know, if the fence right. weren't there, I'd definitely be no thanks. But he's got some fence, so. I don't think I've ever encountered a the a roof of a uh, press box that didn't have a fence around it, but I've had some sketchy rooftops. Yeah. And then you know, rain, and that's fun. Yeah. I'd be we, we just tell Calvin to duck if he hears thunder. <laughs> like, okay, just make the camera higher than you. You should be good. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, looks like West Central's lining back up for the play. Yeah, second down, 11 yards to go. They're looking for a pass, baby. Quarterback going to throw it out to number 30. Ooh. Hit just off. Looks like he may have hurt his leg. Number seven, seven for Caston. Tate. Tate Cowell. Just, just a, a quick cramp. They're going to stretch him out like a good teammate does. Officials calling the timeout real quick. Another hurt player. Oh, yeah. Definitely cramped something or something right out there. Zach Cowell out there running up to him to check him out. West Central definitely looking to try and move it, you know, and I think both teams are starting to feel the pressure with these injuries. Yeah. You know, both working really hard to do their job. Fish was still out there checking out on Tate. Team standing off to the side, trying to figure out what they're going to do for the rest of the fourth quarter. Looks 
Looks like he may need to walk off for at least a couple plays to stretch that out and feel a little bit better. Yeah, yeah they're going to take him off. Still a very good stop to that play. That was a huge gain and was catchable, I think, by yeah. West Central. So He almost did. He definitely had his hand in there to tip that off. As long as it's not a serious injury, I'd say it's worth it. Right. You know, if it's Especially. a cramp you can sleep off, good job. Yeah. <laughs> And at least it's in the fourth quarter, at the very least. Yeah. If things go south, you only have so much time to make a comeback. Both teams lining back up now. My central looking for a pass. Short Got pass. To the right side, left side. Got number 22 for them. That'd be Cameron Pratt. Small gain, fourth and four. They may look to run something very similar to that just to get them to the first down. Fourth, four more yards to go. Looking for a short exactly pass again. Exactly what they did. They got it. 22 back to Cameron Pratt again. He'll get them the first down. Pretty good drive for West Central. I don't think we've seen one this smooth from them the whole game. Mm -mm. Nope. They were throwing deep for the most part. And only got about half of them. West Central at the 32. 20. Looking for another pass. Launching it. He's deep. He catches it he in the end zone it. for a touchdown for West Central. Number 22, Camden Pratt. It's a nice play. 28-yard pass. Man. Score leading, casting 13 to West Central's now six. Let's see if they can get an extra point, make it a seven. I don't think Caston was anticipating him being able to hit his mark that far away because he just hasn't had much luck this game. Right, with long passes like that. I wouldn't have saw it coming either. Nice play by West Central. Good throw by quarterback uh, Braden Kletz, number 17. Go for a oh, they're going Probably. for the two-point conversion. See if the Commons can stop them from it. Flag on the play. Looks like it's on. Offsides. Against the Comets. They're offsides, half the distance to the goal. That just made it difficult. That it did. Looking for a pass again, short pass. Now he's gonna, gonna stop get it. him. Got the two point. This puts West Central just one touchdown away from winning. That's which I, is what they were looking for. Probably a smart move by West Central. You just got to get in the end zone one more time. You got about nine minutes and 30 seconds to do that. Kind of it's got to be rethinking their strategy here. They'll get the ball back, but at least maybe score another touchdown or just keep the battle going back and forth so that way no one scores anything. Let's see what they can do here. Central taking the field. You ready to deliver the kickoff back over to the Comets. And Tate looks like he's taken back to the field. Must have got that cramp stretched out. Got, we got number 70. I can't read what which 70 you are. 78, I think. 78, Andrew Caston for the kickoff to give it back to Caston. Caston with the kickoff to Caston. Yeah, I think they planned that, <laughs> getting their heads. Whistle blown. Ball's in the oh. air. Nice long kick. Caught by Blake Albright. He's got some room. He's got He's it. Got He's it. running with it. Oh, man, right down to the 42nd yard line. It's a solid starting point. I'd take it. Looks like they're going to mark him maybe shorter than the 42. 
No, 42. Oh. First and 10 at the 42. It's a solid start. Definitely a good return. Common setting up for the offensive. They got to be looking to either get some leeway, get some room in there for the Trojans' point gain, or get something moving here. Looks like they're playing into their strengths with the running game. Handed it to 20, Brady. That's a good gain there. About, let's say, a four yard gain there. They're saying three. They're saying three? They're saying three. Well, one off. Darn. Yeah. We're lucky Mr. Bichkowski isn't up here. Oh, He's here for soccer. He'd be slapping us around. <laughs> Old math teacher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't get your numbers right. Uh, be a handoff to Brady again. Looks like there's a fumble. You I might, think West Central might have been on it. the ref calling. West Central possession. This is not good for the Comets because that's all West Central need is just one more touchdown and they'll take the lead here tonight. I think it's West Central's ball. No, nope. it's not. Okay, Kasson is keeping it. So I guess Brady must have still had a hand on it or something. I don't know if that's the call I would have called from my angle. It looked kind of like a West Central player dove on it, but yeah. you can't really see between all the, the madness there. Right. Must be a timeout maybe? Yep, quick timeout here. I think called by West Central. So we're gonna take a quick break and a word from our sponsors. You're watching RTC TV4 as Kasten faces off with West Central Trojans. In the fourth quarter, casting up 13 to eight. We'll be back right after this. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on rtc4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. All right, and we're back. Comets have the ball, third with third down with six yards to go. About seven minutes and 41 seconds left here in the fourth. Got to get something rolling for them. Trojans are starting to make a comeback. Handoff back to Blake Albright. He's gaining yards. Like a start, just sh stop, just short of the first down mark. I think they got three to go here, three or four, on the fourth down. I think we're looking at three. Kasten's going to go for it. No, looks like they're going to punt. It's hard to tell because I feel like their punter is already on the field. <laughs> you know, they don't yeah. have a special team, so. Let's see if Brandon can launch the ball further, give himself some room to keep the Trojans back. It's a nice punt. Gonna fall back at about the 10. There's a foul, looks like a late hit. Gonna miss up with number 53, 
Uh, Tyler Stevens for the West Central and number 69, Peyton Hendrick. It's a holding penalty. Okay, so not a late hit. I just saw a guy on the, on the ground. That was against against West Central, correct? I think. I, wa I wasn't so sure on who they called that for. Might have been. Yep, it was West Central. Yeah, that's going to put West Central really close to their end zone. The Comets can get an interception here. They're pretty darn close to close that gap that West Central's got. I'd say if Caston can keep up the defense they've been keeping and just keep their safety on, on its toes, they might be able to hold this win off. West Central means to take the lead here. They're going to have to fight for it, that's for sure. Looking for a pass, got a short pass, incomplete. Nobody around it, really. The receiver's looking the wrong direction. Number 14, Gavin Fletcher, is probably where their quarterback was aiming for. Couldn't quite get it to him. West Central huddling up, probably trying to think how they're going to dig themselves out of this hole. You know, that was a good kick, and now you you got the foul on top of it. That put them in a really bad spot. Yeah, they're in their end zone, I'm pretty sure, or at least real close to it anyway. At the five-yard line. Looking for another pass. Looks like he's going to get him. Oh, no, off the tip of his fingers. Number 14. Gavin Fletcher, I think. Yes. Incomplete off the fingertips of Gavin Fletcher. Just can't quite get a hand on that ball. Would have been a nice open pass, too, if he would have had that. He would have had all the room in the world to run. Which I think goes back to what we were saying. You know, Caston was not anticipating that long pass to be caught when they did score the touchdown, just simply because this quarterback hasn't been able to hit his mark in the longer throws. It seems to be over or off the beating path. Right. Looks like he's going to run with it. No, wait. He's going to pass. For pass. Deep Too far. Pass. A little bit of miscommunication there. Looking for number 30, Logan Sharp, to run a little bit further down the field. Couldn't quite get it where it needed to go. And they're fourth down all the way back there. Yeah, you're going to look at a punt here for sure. Unless they're going to – yep, they're definitely punting it. I mean, they could have just gone for it. Why not? You've got but six minutes. I think you're going to just try and wait for another possession and hope you can make it down the field. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, dropped. It, it dropped the Caston almost with the tackle. They're missing. No one's getting him. He's got all the room to run. Someone's got to bring him down. Casey and Tate on top of him. Wow, West Central Holy fourth down with the kick. They crap. drop the ball and run for... Almost 40 yards, 30, 40 yards. Wow. Wow. What a what a play. I thought that was going to be a, a say, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Jeez. First and There was ten. at least three, four missed tackles there on Caston's half. Yeah. That's just a shame. I can imagine what that practice is going to look like. Oh, yeah, that I can't be looking good. Looks like, looks like they got a timeout going. I'm not so sure who called it, but I think there's a time. I'd take a timeout after that. Jeez. I think it's a little bit. Yeah, we got a timeout going. So we're going to take a quick word from our sponsor, and we'll be back right after this. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. We're back after a quick timeout. West Central with a, just a crazy play and recovery there. They were fourth down, going for a punt and dropped the ball. 
As the punter picked it up and ran for about 35, 40 yards. Yeah, they went from about the six yard line to the 43 yard line. Kasten bringing him down with about a three, four yard gain. Colin Fritz with the run. Wow, what a game. We've seen definitely three, four solid plays that are just pretty crazy. Good game so far. West Central trying to pick up the pace here. They're getting momentum flowing. They got six minutes to get something happening here. A long pass to 22. Cameron Pratt. He dodges the tackle but gets tackled from behind. Cameron Pratt. Colton Walker was just there for the tackle. First and 10 again. First down for the Trojans. They're definitely. West Central definitely, progress. yeah. Getting right back to it. Comets need to pick up the pace for us. They're going to take the lead here. Looking for a short pass. Ooh, man. That's right off his fingertips. If Kasten were in a little better position, you could have seen an interception there. Pass over to number 30, Logan Sharp for Trojans. Just barely off the reach of his fingertips. Two and 10 at the 40 yard line. Five minutes, 41 seconds left in the game. Looks like we got a hurt cast and player there, number 69. He's hurting bad. Yeah, Peyton Hendrick. So an official's timeout. So they try and figure out what's going on with him. He may have just taken a hard hit. The wind knocked out of him. West Central definitely rallying here in the fourth quarter with some sure. strong pushes. Trying to do everything to make a comeback. And they must have hit old Peyton Hendrick bad. Last year He's he was a tank. He was pretty difficult to knock out. Thomas need to rally up here. For a handoff to number 35 for the Trojans. Trapped up right at his feet. With 35, Dalton Sizemore. Like a gain of about one, one or two. Casey able to put the stop on him. Bringing him three and eight. Clock keep, keeps ticking. Trojans now, setting for a pass maybe. Yep, for a deep pass, couldn't quite get Falling it. Falling off its mark. Looking for number 30, I think. Uh, Logan Sharp, couldn't quite get it to him, just a bit over his head. It's like cast in number 56, 55, Brand Brandon Kinzer, a little slow to get up there. Four and eight for West Central. And they're going to go for it. The obvious choice with five minutes left. Looks like they've got, a, they've got an opportunity. Ooh, Missed it. Man, incomplete pass, but almost an interception by number 35. It's Colton, Colton Walker. It's close. Beating himself up a little bit there, I think, because he knew he could have had it. At least they got the intercept, er, not the intercept, at least they got the turnover, though. Absolutely. Now if the Comets can hold on to it for another five minutes, they might be able to take the game here tonight or make a touchdown and close that gap that West Central has tried so hard to make. Yeah, that's a tough call. Do you start to, you know, pull some of the longer plays out or stick with your running play that just hasn't been working in these last quarter and a half, I'd say. Yeah, it's about gone downhill from there for that. They've definitely, uh, West Central's definitely figured it out and been able to stop them pretty well. Uh, but you got you got five minutes to try and you know make a couple conversions and ideally just run the clock down at the very least. Right. And for a hand go off for to a the run. Casey. Casey Alt. He's got some room. He's gaining yards. He's close to the first down. He may be one yard short. Right 
right there on the line, I think. Yeah, one more yard to go. Inches, inches, inches to go. Inches to go for the first down. With a second down. I'd say pretty easy to make those yards, just run it. As we start to doubt their running game, they <laughs> yeah. prove us wrong. As you prove us right about being the jinx, I suppose, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> It's like they're going to get the first down. Got it to Brady for the handoff to get him there. First down. First down for Comets. We're now treading in Trojan territory. I think Casting's feeling very lucky that they have two strong runners on their team that are just really leading the way with this offense. Yeah, definitely racking up those stats. Keeps West Central guessing as far as who to watch. Right. Three minutes and 45 seconds. Let's see if the Comets can keep a hold of it, maybe even close up that gap and take the game here tonight. I think you're definitely going to start to see some more conservative plays. The handoff to Blake Albright. He's got some room. He could run to the outside. Gets tied up just shy of the 50. Looks like 22 may have hurt his leg there a little bit. Cameron Pratt slow to get up. Timeout by the Trojans. Caston leading 13 to 8 with 320 left in the game. You're watching RTC TV 4 and we'll be back. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. back after a timeout by West Central. Trying to figure out what to do as Kasten seems to build back their running game momentum. That last play cost him about a yard, but second and 11, see if they can make up that yard and plus much more here. That close to the end of the fourth quarter. Quick huddle by Kasten. Play clock keeps ticking. Forty, Casey Alt running right down the middle. He's got room. Gain of about seven, seven or eight. Nice run by Casey. Nice yard coverage there to make up for the lost yard that they had during the last play. Third and three as the Trojans call yet another timeout, and we'll be back. And we're back after a West Central timeout. Three minutes and 10 seconds left, Kasten's ball. Third down with three yards to go, Kasten the lead 13 to eight. And we're seeing Kasten slowly build back their running game. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing, close up that gap. So they got They're gonna push push forward for the first down. They got it. To convert on third. Brady, Brady getting that first down. down for the Comets. I got an update from the Tippy Valley game. Tippy Valley 13, Bremen 20 with 8-11 left in the third. So they're keeping it close. 
plenty of time for Tippy to come back. Absolutely. It's been a while, I think, since I've seen a, a Valley game. Hmm. I wonder how good their team is this year. I was there for their scrimmage, and it's hard to base it off a of scrimmage. I mean, everybody's just trying to go through the motions. Right. But. Hand off to number 40, flag. There's a flag on the play. Casey Alt looked like he may have had a good run there, too. That's a shame. So he called on Kasten. Delay of game. It's the second time this game that the clock has hurt them. Yeah, and that's not going to bode too well there. First and 15 now. I think we're looking a little further than that. No, no, never mind. I'm seeing them huddle all the way down here. <laughs> yeah, it's hard it's to top judge secret here. play, so they're keeping it far away from right. their team. Can't let them know what they're going to do. Not this close up in the game. Kasten running up to the, the line there. I think a handoff to the Brady in there and all that mess. That is Brady. All right, Trojans calling yet another timeout. Trying to keep this clock from running. We'll be back right after this. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home. And there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low. So now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. And we're back after a quick timeout. Casting second down and 10 to go after a delay of game threw them back five extra yards. Not ideal. Brady must have been able to get them that yard, uh, enough yards to make it second and 10 during the last play before the timeout. Hand off to Casey. He's got, no, man. Brought him down. I was watching Brady and I thought maybe he broke through. Casey brought down pretty close to the line of scrimmage there. Third and eight with two minutes left. And this becomes a, a time game at this point. caston has got two possessions left here. They're going to let that clock run as long as they can. Last thing they need is West Central to make a heavy comeback and score that one touchdown and lose the game by only one point. Or possibly two if they got the extra point, either way. Off they go. Tate was looking for a pass. He oh, incomplete. To to Off the hands of Brady. Still a really good attempt on what could have been a, a big sack for Kasten. Yeah. To, to try and do something with it. Would have got him the gain of yards that they needed right there. And he was he had some room to run too if he would have caught that one. It was close. Good attempt. Clock is stopped after an incomplete pass. Kasten going to go ahead and call a timeout. And we'll be back. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. 
They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. And we're back after Kasten throws an incomplete pass, just trying to make something happen after what would have been a sack there and a loss of yards. Fourth down, eight yards to go with a minute 37 left in the game. Kasten's possession. Let's see where they can get going here. Looking for a handoff to Casey. Casey trying to get room to run. He's brought down. Not going to get it. Clock is going to go ahead and stop. Ball is going to get turned over to West Central. At the 37? Is that what I heard? I think. I don't think quite. No, yeah. we're looking yeah. 33. Yeah. 31, two, yeah, 33. 33. 1 and 10 on the 33 for the Trojans. They got a minute and 33 to make something happen here. They're definitely going to be putting the speed back into this game. Yeah, the pressure's on now. This could go either way at this point. Official blows a whistle. Something's going on. Looks like we've got a player on West Central side just a little beat up here. I don't know if it's a player or a cheerleader. I can't tell. Anyways, the game goes on. Hope everyone's okay. Yeah. Huh. Trojans flag on the play. False start against West Central. Five. Not what West Central wanted as they try and pick up the pace in this game to lose yards like that. That'll that's, put yeah. that's a sacrifice I think you pay when you try to pick up the pace. Players can get a little frazzled. Right, and try and just and rush things and then fouls called and then you're stuck on the 28-yard line with 15 yards to go now instead of 10. For a pass. Over to the left Deep side. Pass. Caught by Cass. No, he drops it. Oh, wow. Blake Albright almost had the interception. He's going to be beating himself up over that one because that was right to the stomach. That would have been. Not necessarily big. ideal, but definitely catchable. Yeah, that would have been huge. To give him another possession with a minute 25 left, they would have been able to hold on to it and keep it. I don't think the Trojans are going to try for another deep pass now after that. That's too little a time for too risky of a maneuver. Minute 25 left. Ball in the 28. Oh, well, no, they're going for a pass. Looking for Over another to the right deep side pass. this time. Caught by 35, Cass, and he's got room to run. He's gone. He's going, he's going. Taken out. 35, Colton Welker that was with just awesome what Kasten needed to turn this game around and what I would assume wins them the game with a minute and 14 left. You can pretty much take a knee and call it good. I'd say so. Awesome interception by Colton Welker. What a game. This game has been back and forth, I feel like, since the second half. You know, it's Absolutely. like you think – Kasten scores two touchdowns and West Central answers, and now it's just it's been neck and neck here the last quarter. It's definitely been good, a good get. It's definitely been a good game to kick off the season here for the Comets. Kasten lines up. They take a knee, which I think that's pretty much the game here for us. Again, it goes back to you know once, right? <laughs> you know you, you talk about the beginning of the game and you got 
a minute left. Everybody's ready, and you just gotta wait. Yeah, you we're looking at we're looking at a very similar situation. <laughs> <laughs> just letting the ca the clock count down. What a game! It's very. Good it's been game. it's been a while since I've been to a high school football game. It's been since last year for me. Okay. <laughs> Probably several for me, I think. Casting with the win. Yeah, 13 to 8. Nice. What a way to start off the season for Casting with a new coach, new head coach at least. Yeah, you say he was a def coach. defensive coordinator, but wow. What a game. What Definitely some, some good plays that had me guessing as far as how this was going to end. Absolutely. It's fantastic. Back and forth right from the get-go. Well, thank you all for tuning in to RTC TV 4. In case you forgot, my name is Dakota Hayden alongside with uh, Brant Gerald. Uh, feel free to check us out on rtctv4.com to find all the footage that we cover for school grounds. And once again, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a good night.